What is up guys? Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Leaf and it's nighttime and I was informed that tonight there is going to be a meteor shower. So uh, how do I view it? I don't know. Let's just look up at the sky. Well now what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, wait, what do I do? I feel like that this should be a little easier. Where's the meteor shower? Okay, let me go look at the times. Are there like certain times that the meteor shower happens? I don't know. Hey, Bo, what's up? It's already nine, huh? Where does the time go, Bollock? So, what can I do for you? Let's chat. Did you know I had a chat with Quad, with Quad City from Ashley? With Qu Wait, that's not right. Okay, I meant I had a chat with Ashley from Quad City. Now she's one heck of a pro listener, don't you think, Bollock? I was like, what are you talking about? How do I view this freaking meteor shower? It says so on the thing, right? Did I miss it or something? Today is the meteor shower. Enjoy taking an evening off and watch the magic in the night sky. That sounds great. How do I view it? And I gotta go up north for this. I don't know. Am I, am I late? Early? What's the deal? Uh, let me let me t let me just let's see it. Let's see. I'm gonna Google it again. I always like have having a uh, computer by my side when I look up at the. Uh... Come on, lights, come on. Let's look up. Okay, this is not a good view. Let's uh. Oh, Club LOL is pumping right now. Totally forgot about that. All right, now this is a good view. There's a meteor. Yes, it's the meteor shower. I don't even have to Google it. You can. Oh wow. I'm wearing my chef's hat and everything. Wow. Very cool. All right, now what? <laughs> I feel. I mean, I I could sit here for a while, but now what? You know, what do I do now? I don't know. Oh man. All right, well, that's exciting. Uh, obviously, if you guys have this game, you can you can do this yourself. All you do is you go over here or anywhere, really, and look up at the sky and just watch the, the meteors fall down. Now, I, I kind of sort of promised this. I hope it's open. It may not be open. It's open. Good. Good. Let's check it out because uh, I promised that I would go to a dream town. Mmm, welcome. I appreciate your, your taking time from your rather busy life to stop by the Dream Suite. I'm gonna update my town because I do have a new police station. Yep, fresh version, come on. And uh, you guys can see how my town's doing. I also chopped down a bunch of trees so it all looks haphazard. But uh, this way you guys can come visit my town if you want to. Come chat with my people. Uh, everyone take a poke at Eugene. Do what you must. Try to bring him down. Maybe if maybe I just want him, I just want him out of here, guys. I just really want him out of here. Thank you for waiting. My preparations are complete. I'll turn your memories into data to create a dream of this town. So please lie down on the couch. All right, we're gonna get this done. Now I already know who I'm gonna go visit today. I'm looking at a comment right now uh, with a good explanation as to why. Now, guys, what's gonna what's really gonna help you? Like, don't just say like my dream code is blank and then expect me to visit because a lot of people say that. You gotta type out like a, a paragraph or two of why I should visit your town. What do you have there for me to see? Cause I'm trying to make interesting videos. So, all right, update it. Do I get 5,000 coins again? 1,244. I hope so too. All right, now let's uh go to bed. Or my chef's hat. I'm ready for bed, and I do have an interest in a dream, and uh, I like to kind of, kind of toy with you guys while I do this. <laughs> um, I don't know why, uh, but uh, I'm gonna enter in a code. Now I'll tell you right now, this person seems to be a male based on the username alone, so that eliminates like half of you, <laughs> or 51%. So apologies, ladies, but I like to go visit a lady's town next. So be sure to, uh, be sure to tell me what your dream code is and why I should visit your town 
maybe uh maybe you have a super sexy character who needs a visitor <laughs> to come by <laughs> i'm just kidding okay anyway let's get this let's do, let's do this okay an input a dream address uh, okay uh so yes i i do know and uh we're gonna start off number eight kidding threw you off number five four three two one <laughs> I don't know sorry five three zero zero that's real first four digits two two seven nine dun 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 four dun 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 two dun okay one seven let's not let's not mess around anymore let's go to this dream town to the tar oh, TARDIS I love Doctor Who Everyone who watches my Minecraft series knows how much I love Doctor Who. I haven't seen any of the episodes, but I have read a couple of reviews of the show, and I love the fact that it, it's on, and that there's such, it has such a good fan base. So, let's go visit TARDIS. This is by Matt Stevens. Hey, Zach, I put an item for you to play around with that would be great for you to use on Eugene, but sadly, you can't take it with you, so you'll have to settle... For using it on my villagers instead. Also, Apollo and Puddles live in my town and want to see you in a dream. I just finished an illumination arc, arch, and it looks really great at night. It's by the train tracks. My house is Avatar, the last airbender themed, minus the basement. But that has many dinosaurs. Let's go check it out. That sounds exciting. Thank you, Matt Stevens, for providing your code. Hopefully, hopefully this works out just fine. After this... Uh, Dream Town. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of nighttime fishing. See if I can catch any new, uh, new fish to donate to the museum. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I know two sheep, three, three what? It never tells me what three. Oh, I know there's one sheep, and then there's two sheep. Then what? Uh, what's three? Three goats? Three cans of corn? Three mice? I don't know. Drats. But here we are waking up right now. Ta-da! Welcome to the world of dreams. Right now you're having a dream in a sleepy town of TARDIS. All right, here we are. I don't want the world to stress. All right, I'm ready to have a most amazing time, so stop talking to me. Let's see. Ooh, hey, what's up, Wendell? What? I've met you in a dream before. You're a pretty big fan of the dream world, huh? All right, I do like the dreams. Let's. I just want to see. I just want to see if there's a drawing here that I wouldn't mind taking with me. Come on, let's check it out. Uh, do it over the regular stupid clothing pattern. All right, what are these? Ang, Airbender. All right, water. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna take any of these, but. I'll tell you what, I will go look at your, your, your themed house. And what is this? Oh, a toy hammer. Oh my gosh, I need to get a hold of one of these. Oh my gosh, I really need one of these for Eugene. Boom! Boom! This guy looks cool. <laughs> All right. It's so funny. No, don't do. Oh, I was trying to use it on her. All right, we're good. We're good. We're refreshing. Whatever. Okay, so uh, let's go check out this guy's house, Matt Stevens. Where am I going? Okay, oh, his house is over here. Sorry, I was not looking at the map. Oh, cool, he has a uh, one of these bringing energy to the people of Animal Crossing. He also says that he has, uh, he said in his comments that he has some sort of arch, I think. And apparently Apollo lives here. Where's the arch? Oh, there, whoa, wicked. That's cool. Oh, there's a street light, that's cool. What is this? Oh, this is town thing, okay. Where's his house? How many people does he have living here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How is that even possible? Hey, buddy. Avatar State. Yep, yep. Let's check it out. 
theme like Avatar The Last Airbender. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Now, I myself, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not a huge fan of Avatar The Last Airbender just because I haven't seen it. I, I haven't seen it. That's why. Uh, I'm not saying I dislike it or anything, but wow. I can tell when something's been done well, and this has been done very well. So I think this looks really freaking cool. Uh, you did a really good job, Matt. Let's go check out the basement that he was talking about. Or let's go upstairs first. Uh, he said the basement has many dinosaurs, so... Wow! Oh my gosh! Some people are just really, really good with decorating. I am not. <laughs> I need to have, like... Someone like come into my town and decorate for me or something. I don't know how that's even possible. That looks pretty amazing, Matt. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Look, I want to see what these mini dinosaurs are all about. Cause uh, sounds like it could be really cool. Whoa. Whoa. How do you get these mannequin things? That's what I want to know. I'm just gonna lay down in your bed. Oops. How do you get? How do you assemble that? I don't understand. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. This is a cool bedroom. I really don't understand it. What are these like Star Trek uniforms here? <laughs> this is pretty freaking sweet, dude. What is this? It looks awesome too. Jeez. All right, you you sir are great at uh at decorating. It's for real. All right. Well, that was awesome. That was a good dream. I'm going to wake up feeling refreshed, do a few, a little bit of fishing. I need to talk to Amelia about starting a new Publix Works project, because if I don't, I'm going to forget. But look at this cat. <laughs> oh, whatever. Where's Apollo? There's Fauna. Fauna lives here. Benedict. Mo. Puddles. Diva. Annalise. Apollo. Apollo's up north here. Let's go see him. Run through these flowers. Is Apollo's house? Sure looks like it. Is he here? He is! Apollo! Coming to see you, buddy. Nice. Wow. What's up, dude? Oh, ho, ho, Zach! Pop pip! What? I dreamed last night that someone who looked just like you would visit. And now my dreams come true. Whoa, that is really freaky. Make yourself at home. You want a bite to eat? Nah, best I don't feed you while you're sleeping. <laughs> so, is my place really all that cool? It seems like I've had an endless stream of visitors. All right, cool. I thought I was hoping he would mention something about the fact that he also lives in my town, but that's okay if he doesn't. All right, let's get out of this town. I liked visiting this one. This one was pretty cool. Now I just need to find the exit, wake up from my dream. Which, by the way, I think oh, I can't hit him. Avatar State, yep, yep. All right, let's get out of here. Very cool though. Oh my, are you ready to wake up? Wake me up. Okay, I see, please close your eyes then and let us return. So, I'm gonna wake up, gonna leave this place. This place is great, but I gotta go back to my own, get some progress done. Uh, I'm really glad for this uh for this dream suite thing because it gives me a way to show off your town without having to coordinate you know actually visiting and stuff and a lot of a lot of you guys are really creative much more creative than i am or at least you have more time than i do i don't i pretty much the only time that i play this game is when i'm recording the other time is when i'm farming apples perfect apples for some money i feel refreshed thank you matt stevens once again that dream code for those of you who missed it if you can't or too lazy to re rewind it's five three zero zero two two seven nine four two one seven. All right, I'm a chef. I'm a chef. I'm a chef. I'm still wearing my military uniform. I'm, I'm a military chef. That's what I am. Maybe I can get a little bit of fishing done. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Let's go. Let's go this way. I'm gonna skip out on the club life tonight. No need to do club life. Uh. Wait, is that a fruit beetle? 
What is that? I always forget what these things are called. What? I missed. Impossible. Well, not really. Knowing me, it's not impossible. I'm gonna go down by the ocean, see if I can see anything truly spectacular. But first, I need to go by Amelia's office and start a new public works project. Go ahead and probably pay it off. I just don't know what I wanna do. I mean, do I really wanna do a reset center? What, what is that even about? I mean, maybe if I, maybe if I wanna just talk to Resetti, I could have a reset center, that'd be kinda cool. Let's do this. I know it's nighttime, but the mayor's here for an emergency nighttime decree. Oh, mayor, I just remembered the townsfolk would like to hold a ceremony to celebrate completing the classic police station project. All right, sure. I, yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. All right, I completely forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot to do this last time. All right. So that's how it works. Man, I wish I would have done this in the daytime. This would have been a really good screenshot. But here we go. Thank you for joining us for this momentous occasion. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. We're going to keep this short and sweet, so let's jump right in. First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our mayor. Here we go. We did it. Man, I feel like I've already visited this place and, you know, took some things out of it that were lost and found. All right, so let's, uh... Wow, well, everyone's here, though. Except for those I hate. There's a lot of people here. Here we go. Let's pop, pop it, pop it, lock it. All right. Now what? All right, now I don't know. Let's go. Do I need rod for something? I don't think I did anymore. Okay, let's check out. See what kind of. Do we have sharks here tonight? I would love to get. I mean. If I catch a shark, though, I'm not, I've am not. i changed my mind. I'm not going to title it uh, shark, because then you'll know that I caught it. And I don't want to spoil a surprise for you guys. So I did change my mind on that. That's a 360. Apologies for that. Here we go. Here we go. Still getting it. Come on. Scared away the bigger fish. What is this, a seahorse? I'm pretty sure I've caught one before. I have. Look up there, whoa. Come on, let's see another one of those meteors. Put my thing away. Come on, show me something. Show me something. There's Rod in the background. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. Wish we we could do without that timestamp. No, that's gonna be a good thumbnail right there. That's wonderful. Meteor shower tonight, guys. At least here in my town. I don't know about your town. And by the time time I upload this, it'll already be the next day. So don't worry about it. Hey, there's a fish. Okay, that did not work. Fishing is so difficult. There we go. That's bound to work. Come on, you have to see that. Duh, what? All right. I, I, I at least want to catch like one new fish before ending, ending this video. Man, I'm stuttering a lot. I need to like get some water or something. I don't think I exactly have a speech impediment, but sometimes I sure go through a lot, like a, a stuttering phase where I just start stuttering a lot and I don't enjoy that part of talking. Here we go. Here we go. Caught it, whatever it is. Ah, oh, what? A sea bass. That's kind of cool, but not extremely awesome. Just kind of cool. I really need to, uh, really want to catch a shark. I'm not even lying. A tiny little fish. Where are you going, little fish? I don't even see him anymore. Yeah, he's there. Such a hard fish to see. 
Here we go. Caught it. Whatever it is. Ah, seahorse again. I just start letting those go. I mean, who wants a seahorse? Not me. There's a big fish. Oh, it's a shark. Oh, my God. It's a shark. 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 Here we go. Does he see it? No. He doesn't. Okay, let's try again. Here we go. Oh, his fifth one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, I caught a shark. A hammerhead shark. Oh, man. Oh, I don't have any room for it. Yeah, swap out something. Swap out. Swap out. Swap out. Get rid of one of these extra whatevers I have. Uh, get rid of a, a freaking seahorse. Release it. Yeah. Go swim away. I got a big old shark instead. Well, guys, I finally caught my first shark. That's awesome. That's momentous. You got to see a, our first meteor shower, our first shark catch. What is up, cat? Hey, so people have started calling you Z-Bear, right? That's nice. It suits you. Can I call you Z-Bear, too? Sure. Awesome. Well, might as well get started. Thanks, Z-Bear. Thanks a bunch, Purdy. All right, guys. Well, that is super duper exciting to me that I caught my very first shark. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to Blathers and donate the shark and uh, this other fish thing to the museum. Because uh, that will be quite wonderful, in my opinion. So, Oh, wow. Caught my first shark. All because he caught it on his fifth time. Which is great. Which is wonderful. I wish I could fish in that lake right there by the museum. Ashley, I caught a shark. <laughs> All right, and blather shark attack. <laughs> Blathers is wide awake. Uh, make a donation, really, dude. I, I caught my first shark, and I'm donating it, donating it to this museum. It's a hammerhead shark, and you're gonna be, you're gonna be so happy. And it's gonna be, you're gonna want to name this in my, in my honor. All right, there we go. Just take that shark. I know the shark's probably bigger than you, but take it over to the. Oh, wow. Uh, no, no, nothing. I'm good. Let's go see that shark. I want to go see that shark. Shark's up here. Let's go. Wow. I caught a shark, guys. I caught a freaking shark. Yes. I did. I did it. Where is the shark? I don't see him in this room. This room's basically empty. And uh, I caught a shark. Spoiler alert. I caught a shark. Well, where is he? Is he has he taken him over here yet? Has he put him in here? Or is that gonna be later? Shark needs his own little area, you know. What is here? Oh, what? Where do you guys put sharks? Huh. Well, where the heck do you guys put the sharks? Uh, maybe I just maybe he's not in here yet. I don't freaking know. No, there he is. I saw him. And watch out putting a shark in there. Hammerhead shark. Yes, donated by Zach. The hammerhead shark is a shark with a head like a hammer, which is what you'd expect. However, despite being sharks, they're actually fairly laid back. No, they're not, they're vicious, and I caught one. Which is not what you'd expect. Gosh. With their eyes positioned on the two ends of their hammer, they can see in almost all directions. Oddly, their nose holes are located right next to their eyes on their hammer section. They have a number of small holes on the front and lower portions of their heads as well. These holes allow them to detect prey, even fish hiding below them and out of sight. While they eat a nice array of fish, it seems rays are their favorite sources of food. Rays beware. All right. God, I'm sorry, shark, but you're now in my museum, or Blathers Museum. 
Anyway, guys, well, thanks so much for watching me play Animal Crossing New Leaf. We got a meteor shower, a dream world, and a shark thing taken care of. Oh! Oh! And, man, I almost forgot. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit longer than I thought. Um, as I walk over there, I'll thank you right now for every like and favorite. For real, this series has been... It's basically been better than my Minecraft series, which is crazy to me because Minecraft is always my number one series. Uh, but now, you know, if I upload a Minecraft episode, uh, I can expect anywhere from six to 10,000 10, views on average. Sometimes when the videos have been up for a while, they kind of go a little bit like viral in the search engine. And uh, some of the videos, you know, spike up to 20, 30,000 or something just on average. Some of my Minecraft videos have done extremely well. Don't get me wrong on that. Like my real life house is my most viewed Minecraft video. And, uh, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is that this Animal Crossing, I mean, like each episode, I can expect like 12 to 15,000 views. And that's like the most successful that any like series has regularly been. Like any long-term series, we're already like a month into it with like a couple episodes a day, all getting those kind of views. So thank you guys so much for that. And uh, just a little something. You know, occasionally like some series might get like, you know, if it's a, like a, a mini series or Walking Dead or like Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, I mean, did really well too. It, it, it definitely, it wasn't like a regular ongoing series. Uh, but Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon uh, had like some some episodes had over like hundreds of thousands per episode, so it's a little bit different case. This is like you know a free form game, uh, something I'm gonna do indefinitely every day. Saw stag, so it's just really cool that you guys have uh, have really helped me out like like that. Thank you guys so much. It's great having you here on the Zack Scott Games channel. Hopefully you you can check out some of the other games that I play as well. Uh, I know I know some yeah I I try to keep. You know, I play a wide variety of games. Some of them, you know, are age appropriate for everyone. Some of them are really only for mature audiences. But anyway, here we go. We can start a new public works project. Okay, what would you like to work on? I have no idea. Let's start a new one. Uh, Street lamp. I really don't know. Um... Let's do the reset center. Oh my god, it's expensive. Nope, let's do a wind turbine. Man, I can even fund that fully. Do not enter sign. Why would I want to do that? Custom design, no, fire hydrant. Do we have any dogs in our... There we go. Let's do a fire hydrant. Let's be... Yep, I would. Let's do it. I have no idea where this is going to go. <laughs> I did not think this one through. It's nighttime. All right, fire hydrant will go where? Who will want a fire hydrant? That's a good question. I don't know where a fire hydrant would need to go. We could put it next to our public buildings to help protect them in case a fire breaks out. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine people living here. Put it near the campsite. Whoa, that is huge. That way, if anything crazy happens by the campsite, like if, if something catches on fire, we'll have a fire hydrant right next to it. But that'd be kind of weird. Let's see, where should a fire hydrant go? I really don't know. Can I just stick it like in between these two? Because that'd be hilarious. Yes, what do you think? Hmm. What about a fire hydrant just like right here? Wouldn't that be crazy? Oh, he has a flea. Rod, come here. Got it. All right. I did find a flea on you. It's okay, though. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't be embarrassed. Okay. Maybe a fire hydrant like right here. This would be a cool place, right? Yeah, what do you think? Yes! Nice! That way, if any of these public buildings burn down, there'll be a fire hydrant right nearby. Uh, that looks okay. Right? I mean, that, that looks good, right? Hold on. Let, let me move over one. Maybe I can move over, over one. 
I can't really tell. All right, let me, how about like right here? Like right here. Oh, come on. How about here? Yes. What do you think? Okay, too close to the train tracks is okay. I'll move it over one. How about here? What do you think? Okay, train tracks, still close to those, okay. Hold on, we'll get this done, we'll get this done, don't worry. I'll dress as a fireman tomorrow, pose next to the fire hydrant for a, for a video. Right here. What do you think? Okay, okay, I'll move over, darn it. All right, come on. Understood. Yes. All right, perfect. Looks good, looks good. Yep, looks good. There we go, perfect. I'll fund it completely. All right. All right, come on, I'll fund this fire hydrant. I got this. I got all the money for this right now. I'll cooperate. There we go. All right, there we go. Fire Hydrant will be ready tomorrow, guys. Thanks so much for watching me play Animal Crossing New Leaf. I will uh, be back tomorrow with some more videos. We got three today, maybe two or three tomorrow, probably just two. But thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching, and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.